Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> something to wash that food down with right now. Maybe that'll help. Oh, this place looks good enough. Mm. Oh, now, Jake. Oh, 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 you run right into her, Jake. You bumped oh, yeah. into her real hard. Yeah, so I did. Oh. Run right into a pretty little gal. My, my basket. I must have my basket. Oh, you don't need to worry now. But, but the eggs... I caught the basket, all right. Uh, may I have it, please? Well... Now, seems to me you owe me a little something. Uh, if I hadn't caught this basket, it'd have dropped, sure, and them eggs would have all broke. Now, ain't that so, Ed? Uh, sure, Jack. It was me as kept them eggs from breaking. I, I am grateful, senor. I figure you might want to thank me for the favor. Uh, I thank you, senor. <laughs> now, that ain't exactly what I mean. But a little gal like her would know what I mean, wouldn't she, Ed? Sure oh, she would, Sure Jake. she would. Just come here, I'll show you. Please, Senor. Just a little kid. No. no. Get your app. Oh, she's spooky. Is it wrong? Come on now, fast, Tito. No. A little kiss ain't going to hurt you, no. Sure not. Why, all you black eyed little gals been kissed plenty of times. Now, ain't that right? Come on now. It ain't no different with me. I, I will not kiss you. Let me go. No. Let me go. Let me go. Let her go. Put that girl down. Well, now, who, who do you think Never you mind are? who I am. You leave her alone. You got no call to You let her out. go, or I'll send for the law. Oh, we're just having some fun. Hell, fine brand of fun. Two hulks like you tormenting a young girl. Hey, come on, honey. You come with me. You two go along now. Well, now, look, we ain't done nothing. You get along. We Come on. Senorita. Oh, Kitty will do. Those men. Those men, they were wrong. I, I do not care. Yeah, I know, honey. Now, don't you worry. Come on inside. You can wash your face and calm down. Thank you. She's still around here, Kitty? Uh, I left her up in my room, Matt. She was pretty upset. Did you find out who she was? Yeah, her name's Josefina. Josefina Ramirez. Yeah? She and her father taken over the old Grimes place, West Town. Oh, that's a pretty run-down outfit, as I remember it. Yeah, I guess they're having a tough time of it. They haven't been here very long. Probably won't stay long, either. That's a pretty mean lad. Matt? Yeah, what? Well, I'm... I was wondering if you had something awful important to do the rest of the afternoon. Uh, nothing too important, I guess. Why? Well, she's a real scared girl, Matt. I'd hate for those two brutes to get their hands on her again. Well, what do you want me to do? I thought you might drive her out to her place. <sighs> you think chaperoning young girls home is part of my job? No, Matt. All right, Kitty, I'll... 
I'll be glad to do it. I'll uh, have Chester hitch up a buggy and we'll get her out there in time for supper, huh? Thanks, Matt. I'll have her waiting out front. Guess there's no use looking for those two men, though. Why not? Well, if uh, you took out after them, they're probably halfway to Wichita by now. Matt? Oh, I know what I'm talking about. I haven't seen you when you were riled. Well, you're about to see me riled again if you're not careful. <laughs> you go on now. Get that buggy, huh? Catches a shortcut long here pretty soon, Mr. Dillon. Is that right, Josephina? Yes, senor. There is a little road across the field after the next turn. Ah, well, we'll get you home before it really turns dark. Senor? Uh huh. I-, I would thank you, senor, if if you would let me off here at the little road. Well, that's an awful long walk for anybody, Miss Josephine. I-, I would like it. You don't want us to drive you all the way home, huh? No, senor. Look, Josephina, it's close to dark. I think maybe we better go on with you. Well, sure, it ain't no trouble. Just a little piece more to go, and now we've turned off. But but, but you do not understand. <laughs> out there, behind them rocks. Get out on the wagon, Josephina. Chester, jump off and cover me from your side. Yes, wait, wait, hey, shoot. Come back here, you'll be killed. It's not your one that lose the trip, senor. Oh, father, do not shoot again. Put down your gun, you crazy you fool. Come no closer. Josefina, step here with me. What's going on? very still, senor. Father, father, you are wrong. Come up here with me, as I say. These men are not like the others. They have not bothered you? No, father. They have brought me home so I would be safe. I will talk to them. Why don't you put your gun down? I talk better that way. Tell me who you are, senor. He is the U.S. Marshal at Dodge City. Oh. Oh. The man who uphold the law. Well, I try to. And who are you? Oh, my name is Senor Miguel Ramirez. Now, do you always ambush people who come out to your place? Only when I fear for my daughter. Well, I can't blame you if I want to protect her. But if you're so worried about her, why do you let her go to town alone? Mm. See, it's not good, but... We are in need of all the money we can earn, senor, to make this place go. The eggs have to be sold. Today, my cow is calving. I could not go to town, so I sent Josefina. There's no one else. She did not return in the daylight. Uh, You uh, decided the worst had happened. Oh, senor marshal, you do not know how it can be. We have moved four times trying to find a good home. But for a young girl from Mexico in your country, it's not easy. Your man... Yeah, yeah. I know it can be bad. Now, look, Ramirez, you can't shoot everybody who comes out here, you know. I do not wish for trouble, senor. I came to your country. I hope for a better way to live. But if they bring trouble to my daughter... She's a good girl. Yeah, I know she is. If they bring trouble to my daughter, then I will kill them. This is the way it must be. You can't take the law in your own hands, Ramirez. That's the way it must be, too. I can kill. That won't do Josefina any good. Senor Marshal. Now listen to me, Ramirez. I know things can be hard. But you'll get protection from the law like anyone else. But you'll let the law handle things. I protect my daughter. But you'll have to be alive to do that. Do you understand? Senor. All right. From now on, you better see that Josephina stays close to home, huh? Justin, come on, let's get back to town. Here's where she lives, Hap. Here's a Mexican's place. Yeah, it ain't much. Sure ain't. You stay here. I'll go in and get the girl. Oh, get off your horse. It's old man. You got a gun. There's no need for the gun, old man. We just come to pay a little visit to your daughter. Yo. 
Get off my land. We just come to pass the time of day. Yeah. We seen her in town yesterday. Figured we'd like to see her. I'll order you once more. Turn your horse. Right back. Now, it seems to me you'd take kindly to us coming to call. We're a lot better than your girl's been used to, and we got more. Check. So, fool, shoot. Watch out, old man. Next time I don't waste a shot in the air. Now you go. Look at here, you old. Come on, let's get out of here. 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 What are you stopping for? Yeah. We're out of sight, ain't we? Yeah? We ain't gonna let no dirt farmer drive us off in his land. Here. What are you gonna do? You just come along with me. You see what I'm gonna do. Oh, I ain't so sure, Jack. You scared? Well, no. No, I ain't scared, but I don't want to go killing no old man. We ain't gonna kill nobody. Just going to pay a visit to that pretty little girl like we set out to do. How are we going to do that? Get off your horse and tie him up. Leave the horses? Do like I tell you. Yeah. Now we're going to sneak back through the scrub. That little gal's going to get a real surprise. <laughs> Doc, you don't think food like this can hurt you, huh? Well, <clears throat> I've got a theory about it, Matt. <laughs> It'll better be good. Uh, possibly scientific. Now then, I have done a lot of research on it at considerable personal risk. Oh, is that so? Yes, <clears throat> by eating the food myself. And I've come to the conclusion that you build up an immunity to terrible slop like this. <laughs> and your stomach gets even stronger. Are you... So, <clears throat> You the doc? Yes. Yes, I'm the doctor. You gotta come, doc. We've got a gal out there in the country. Oh. Speak up, man. Speak up. You mean he the marshal? Of course he's the marshal. Yeah, I'll wait and see you alone, doc. I think I better know about any girl you got out in the country. Well, it really ain't nothing bad. That's bad enough to need a doctor in a hurry, is that it? Who is she? Oh, just a little Mexican gal. From the Ramirez place? Well, yeah. What happened to her? Well, I, I don't really know, Doc. We, my partner and me, we, we're just having fun with her. She fell down. Hit her head, I guess. She ain't moved since. Come on, Doc. I'll get Chester and we'll ride along with you. Sure, man. Come on, you. Sure, Marshal. Yeah, I'll lead you right out there. You bet you will. <laughs> Left him right over there under that tree. Jack! Jack, I brung the doc. Well, he sure ain't answering you none. And he was there. Where's the girl? Right there. By that tree. Josephina. Josephina. Do not touch me. Oh, I hit. It hurt. Marshal Dillon, Josephina. Doc Adams is here, too. Yeah, let's see now. Oh. Chester, would you hold the lantern? Sure, Doc. Oh. You just lie still, Josephina. Uh, this isn't going to hurt. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how this happened? They were after me, Doctor. They were waiting for me in the dark. There, there. That's going to be all right. They dragged me out in the field. The big hand over my mouth, and I, I, I fell down. I, I fell down. She wouldn't have got hurt none if she hadn't have been fighting so. Well, she kicked me something fierce. Dear me, ain't that a shame. Well, I think she's all right, man. She hit her head a good crack, but she'll be all right. Can we move her, Doc? Yes, I think so. I won't hurt her. I'll, 
I'll take her home in the bus. I better go along, too, or Father isn't going to be easy to deal with. I don't see why he should be. Chester, you take Ab back and lock him up, huh? We'll hold him till we're sure the girl's going to be all right. Yes, sir. I'll do that, Mr. Dunn. Well, I didn't hurt her none. The doc says she's all right. There's no need to lock me up. You ought to beg me to lock you up, rather than have her father out looking for you. Now, come on, Doc. Let's get her into the buggy. She's sleeping just fine. Now, you see that she gets a lot of rest for the next couple of days, remember? She's all right. How did you hear him, Ramirez? The doctor says Josephina's all right. She just needs a little rest. I hear the words, Marshal. Yes, well. I'll wait for you out in the buggy. Yeah, all right, doctor. I'll be along in a minute. Ramirez, I want to say a couple of things to you. Hey, Ramirez, are you listening? I will listen. Good. Because I'm not asking you to do anything. I'm telling you. Now, you let me handle this. Your daughter's all right. Now, we got the man locked up. There were two men, senor. I know. And we'll find the other one. But you let me handle it, do you hear? You can't take the law into your own hands. Now, do you understand me? I hear the words. Well, you better hear them. And you better remember them. Come in. Come in. Uh, oh, hello, Ramirez. Well, folks don't usually bother to knock at this office. You, Marshal. How's Josephina? Oh, she is well. Ah, oh, good, good. Well, don't you want to come on in? No, senor. I can't say what I must say from the doorway. Now, now, Ramirez, don't get any crazy ideas again. We'll pick that man up one of these days. It is not necessary. Yes, it is. We don't want him to get away with that any more than you do. It is not necessary for you to pick him up. What do you mean? I brought him to you. Where is he? He's just outside, senor. Outside? On my horse. He's tied on my horse. Yes, I see. I killed him, senor. No, I, I have come to bring you both of us. Yeah, you just had to do it, didn't you? Say, your marshal, the, the law of a man's honor, the, that has to be in his own hands. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Ramirez. I'm sorry it had to be this way. and directed by Norman McDonald stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The story was specially written for Gunsmoke by Marion Clark with editorial supervision by John Meston. Featured in the cast were Lynn Allen, Lawrence Dobkin, Vic Perrin, and Dick Trenna. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. This is George Walsh inviting you to join us again next week for another story on Gunsmoke.